Are you ready for the revolution? I am Jim Shear, and this is Video Mods. What if I told you in 2005 there was an official lost Blink-182 music video using the song All the Small Things that features a CG SpongeBob SquarePants and friends singing along to it? Well, on my quest to search for it, this has led me down a rabbit hole where I rediscovered MTV2's video mods from 2004. At a time when MTV had given up on music, somebody thought, what if we get characters from video games and have them perform popular songs at the time? In these half hour episodes, you got the cast of SSX3 dancing to the Black Eyed Peas, Blood Rain meets Evanescence, or Star Wars Episode 3, the game with Franz Ferdinand. Take me out! My only regret is R2-D2 was not on base. There's so much to question about this series. How about the band Breaking Benjamin jamming out with Half-Life 2? Crowded streets are cleared away one by one. Freaking Valve signed on for this. I'm kind of mad they didn't use Gordon for vocals. Possibly the weirdest mod was this one where they used the song, well, I want you all to guess what early 2000s meme-worthy song they used. Please, pause the video and post in the comments what dated song you think they selected. Did you post it yet? Because here it is. Yes! Yes! You're probably wondering who these fairy characters are. Well, they're not from a game. These are mascots for NVIDIA's PC graphics card. It's part of their Dusk tech demo, which thank god the webpage is perfectly preserved since 2003. Every other part of the website is up to date except for this oasis of forgotten tech. But here you can still download the EXE demo file just to see if your PC can handle it. Oh, what, your rig can run Crisis at 8K resolutions? Well, can it run this? Yeah, I noticed in the wireframe mode they modeled her nipples, I think? Anyway, I MTV Video Mods is a real moment of... They aired this on TV? While full episodes seem to be lost, many of the segments are on YouTube, but some of them are currently missing or blocked in some countries, unless you got a VPN sponsor. But what we're looking for today is blink one twos all the... Small things set to the game assets from SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants, a minigame collection from 2005. My big moment as a maestro! Stay cool, SpongeBob. They're all watching you. Yeah. Sandy looks like she's about to get whaled. <laughs> now, as I was searching everywhere, I did manage to find a few music videos in high resolution on Vimeo uploaded by the production companies. Ones that weren't on YouTube. Kind of weird. I found these for lesser known games, yet I couldn't find a SpongeBob clip. Not even a screenshot. It's SpongeBob. That's a major character. Wouldn't that be worth bragging about on your demo reel? This is where I started to have my doubts. Wikipedia is where I first heard about this lost video, but that's not reliable. My only other source was a Reddit post from 2019 claiming to have watched it, while a response claims they saw Spongebob singing the Numa Numa song. Are people just misremembering it wrong? Spongebob is likely to have a bunch of random music videos played during commercials over decades of TV airings, and there's tons of parodies online of him singing or whatever. Seems weird to have a video game focused show and just have Spongebob in there too, is this even real? I would assume in all the press releases made about this show back when it was first coming out, at least one of them would have mentioned such a popular cartoon character was going to be featured. I don't know what to think, but for fun I decided to post the Death Jr. My Chemical Romance mod on Twitter just for the hell of it. Well, if you want it, honesty, that's all you have to say. Hell yeah, to which someone unprovoked just brought up the same Spongebob video claiming it's for Battle for Bikini Bottom and it aired on G4. Maybe they misremembered the channel, but that's more than enough info for me, it could really be out there. As I fell further down the rabbit hole, I found out about VG Unity, Stand and Shoes. Another MTV produced music video with the same director played during commercials encouraging viewers to go out and vote. <laughs> Just stand up for your right and vote, 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 vote. 
In this actual music video developers approved of, it stars Tack, Sam Fisher, Scorpion, Sonic, Laura Croft, Tony Hawk, Crash Bandicoot, the Under the Skin Alien, Statesman from City of Heroes, SSX Borders Owen, <gasps> Patrick Starr. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yes! We're getting closer, they really use Spongebob assets! The Blink-182 music video has to be real, but where's the cheese boy himself? Don't worry, he actually shows up at the very end, walking side by side with... <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry? Why is that horny sex craze pervert walking next to Leisure Suit Larry? I can't believe MTV has a voting PSA featuring all these video game icons and Spongebob. At this point, how can you not have Spongebob in Smash Brothers and maybe also all these characters? What's up? I'm Adam. And I'm Matt from Taking Back Sunday and you are about to watch our video mod for a song of ours called This Photograph is Proof featuring the characters from Silent Hill 4 and it is... So now we know that video mods had access to Spongebob assets, and guess what? Friend of the show, Bedhead Bernie, found a season one episode guide on the University of Buffalo's website. The school assisted in rendering the files that IBC Digital animated. Listed here are each song and what episode they were in. Supposedly the Spongebob vid aired during the second episode on July 29th, 2005. Along with other videos that are also lost media, but they don't have Spongebob, so who cares? This site at least includes high-res screen shots of the other vids. Oh man, look at Obi-Wan shredding. It's over, Anakin. I have the higher E string. Apparently there was even a contest for fans to take pre-existing animations of the critically acclaimed franchise, Outlaw Sports, to edit their own video. No idea what became of that either, but from searching through both Vimeo and YouTube, I have found all but these music videos currently lost in time. According to various forum posts, this show had a few reruns, so somebody could have recorded these. Truly, I'm kinda envious. Like, so many people I've talked to remember VMods, but I don't. I watched any video game show in the 2000s, yet I never seen this. After all, some of my favorite videos of mine have been topics that combine animation and gaming, or just corny gamer TV shows. I love this stuff. So with all the info gathered, I contacted several people, including the animation studio, IBC Digital, and two of the producers slash directors. Currently, they haven't replied, but I'll at least leave an update in the pinned comments below, should they do. Until then, let me tell you more about how this weird-ass series even came about after these messages. Play me out, Fight Club the video game. Next, for making the game, meet the Mod Squad. They took our little characters and they put us in music videos doing our songs. And the peas are pleased. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's like we're doing a routine. <laughs> now they compare to Plus, the MTV premiere of the Black Eyed Peas video mod for Let's Get It Started. So how did it all begin? Well, it all started when MTV producer Alex Coletti was at work, where he writes, One day fellow producer Tony Schiff shows up in my office with a laptop and says, okay, I've got it. And he plays me a video mod and it was Blood Rain, the game, cut to a system of a down song and it blew me away. I called Dave Cohen, the head of MTV2. We brought the laptop down, showed him, and we said, okay, let's do this. The way Tony pitched it to me was, imagine video game characters are real, being in the game is their day job, but at night, they have a band. I was like, got it. Wow, this is on the level of your middle school friend showing you a Linkin Park DBZ AMB he downloaded off Angel Fire, except these were MTV producers. Bro, you know that new TV show you were looking for? Well, listen to this.
Now, the show was actually far more difficult to produce than you'd think it'd be, as it takes four or five months to make one episode containing multiple tracks. Companies didn't go to the show to promote their music or game, MTV had to go to them and buy the rights. I'm sure this was an investment, and they were hoping in the long run developers and musicians would beg to be featured on here, but for now, the team had to negotiate a pair up. If the game company didn't like the band or vice versa, they had to keep going back and forth, which I'm sure caused some of the tracks to feel really mismatched. Of all the songs, you settled on some for and destroy all humans? They turn Crypto the alien into an angsty teen trying to prove he's a good enough invader, which, you know what, I guess it does fit. MTV was given the in-game models and rigs and were animated at IBC Digital Animation with Maya 3D. Some of the CG was hand animated and others were motion captured in suits with the help of dance choreographers. The Beastie Boys themselves even did their own motions for their NBA Streets V3 video. Oh, word. Oh, word. They also wanted to do the same with Mob Boy Fitty since he had a game coming out, but it seems like this show was cancelled before that could happen during season two. Sad. <laughs> I hate this show. I love it. I hate it and love it at the same time. <laughs> crew were hoping for this format to at least live on side by side with music videos, but maybe it was too niche and ahead of its time for TV. Even before that show and today, there's still people online making machinimas and watching animations using in-game assets of characters, singing, fighting, or doing skits online. I guess MTV Video Mods is very much like Vincent Van Gogh or Megan Fox, where mainstream audiences in their day were just too stupid to understand their genius, and for that, we apologize. But perhaps MTV was onto something. In the same year of 2005, Gears of War 1 released with a commercial featuring the song Mad World. After being broadcasted, it felt like there was a much bigger influx of TV spots involving some pre-rendered footage with graphics better than the real game set to a licensed song. Kinda like video mods. Except maybe people weren't asking for these characters to form a band. Oh no, you did Still, it's good marketing. If you like the song, you'll download it to your video iPod, and every time it plays, you'll think about that game forever. No matter how many times you listen to the song or recognize it in other random movies that used it, your mind will always go back to that commercial, and that feeling will never go away. And that's why they should make more video mods and get Bayonetta and Lady Gaga together. I'm just spitballing ideas here. Do it. The Chronicles of the Battle will now unfold. Time to get your game on. MTV2 is giving your video games life beyond the console. Music videos get a replay when we download your favorite video game characters and place them into the video mix as the leading role. It's the next chapter of gaming entertainment. Push start for a new episode featuring Fight Night with Ying Yang Twins, Leisure Suit Larry doing Black Eyed Peas, and more. Get ready for video mods. Saturday, October 16th, 9.30, 6.30 Pacific. Oh, you know where I'm at. <laughs> uh.